Hello everybody, this is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. We're going to get started on your weekly reading for April the 8th, 2024. Take what you need, leave the rest. What's your message for this week? April 8th, 2024. Oh, we got some disagreements, some arguments, conflicts, and love. I heard that song, how you seen her? Tell me how you seen her. Yeah, you probably had an argument with your love, the love of your life, and they ran away from you. You haven't heard from them, and yet then you're wanting to know if somebody has seen her or seen them, okay? And it's starting to bother you. Maybe you said a little bit too much. Maybe you did a little too much, and maybe enough was enough, and they said, I'm done. Or you said, I'm done. This connection is over with, okay? They left. I said some unfair things. I'm sorry I said that. You know, I um, didn't mean to say what I said. I know it hurt you. Okay. Um, yeah, you want a good family with this person, a good life. But I feel like this person has said something to you, just said, and you know, you can't take it anymore. I just can't take this anymore. I can't take you anymore. I'm done with this. You know, they're hurt, they're wounded possibly even a wounded healer, you know, but this person, is, they can't take it anymore. This could be you, you know, what else do you have to say? You know, I'm, I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of the disagreements. I'm tired of the arguments. I don't want to fight with you. I would much rather, rather leave you than to keep arguing with you. Um, you can't have me the way you think you can. I, my name is not Burger King. Okay. My name is not Burger King. You can't have me the way you think you want me. All right. And because we started here with the conflict, it's like, you know what? You're not getting along with one another. It's like, I can't take this anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm tired of putting up with your BS and you possibly tired of putting up with my BS, but I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I'm wiping my hands of this connection. I don't want to have anything else to do with you. Or maybe there was, there was just an argument here and you just stormed out the door. Or they stormed out the door. And you haven't seen them since. They're, they, You possibly don't know what their family's phone numbers are. If you do, they won't tell you where they are. Uh, tell so and so. I don't want to talk to them. I'm done with the situation. You know, don't tell them anything. There's a lot of a lot of, of contention. There's a lot of conflict and tension here between the two of you all. It's just it's you know it's just not getting along. You know, and for for it to be the first card in your deck, and we have her love. Mm -mm, you know, I'm not. I I can't keep doing this with you. I'm not going to keep doing this with you. I kind of feel like this person left, and you don't know where they are. They are trying to find some time to blow their steam, to blow steam. And they're hurt. It's too much. You know, not only for you, collective, but it's too much for them. You all are just, just like oil and vinegar right now. Give each other some space. It's, it's, it's too much for you and it's too much for them. It's too much for the relationship. You know, if you want, if you have a chance to make this work, let this person be for a little while. Let this person do what they're, what they're doing and you do what you're doing. And move on away from this, you know, because I feel like if you keep on moving and moving and moving, he or she is going to move away forever. But they want love. They want attraction. They want to be with you. They don't want to be with anybody else. But you're just not getting along. There's a lot of irreconcilable differences here. Okay. They don't want to walk away because they love you. And like I said, they are wounded. You're possibly wounded. But honestly, they don't want to see you with anybody else because they know they that you're the only one for them and they are the only one for you. Okay, so I feel like you're asking their family and friends, have you seen her? Okay, have you seen him take her residence? I'm gonna put that song in the comments. Have you seen her, baby? Have you seen her? Okay. What else? It's uh codependency. Be aware, be aware of a codependent connection. Okay, here. Addiction, addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. You're not getting along. With each other, the the conflicts, the disagreements. I really don't feel like it's a it's somebody cheating. I don't think you're cheating on them or they're cheating on you. I just kind of feel like you're just not getting along. This is just not a good time for you. I feel like though this is a good transit period for you all, a time for you all to really come to the conclusion whether or not you want to be with one another, whether or not you're better apart, better better as being friends than lovers. Okay. Yeah, free yourself, okay? You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Just release this right now. 
release you all need your space where no matter where they are right now you know that rest assured that they're okay y'all just need some space right now that's more important than, than anything on your agenda right now as far as it comes to this connection and this love okay you gotta let it go for a minute okay when and if they come back you gotta fix it okay they can come back a new person a new love a new chapter begins whether it is with a new partner or a current relationship let this thing resolve on its own let it dissolve on its own look reconciliation someone from your past is or will be returning from your life soon soon let him or her come back free at free will okay let them chill the f out you need to chill the f out don't worry about this if it's meant to be if it's meant they're meant to be they'll come back and they will they just need some they need to blow off some steam i don't know what you said to them or i don't know what they said to you but somebody stepped back and they're they're in hiding right now for a reason they're licking their wounds they're getting over what it is they're going through what it is you all said to each other let it go for now got to keep the door open okay don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you all right and keep people out your business other people may be interfering with this relationship dimming its full potential stop listening to what other people are saying about them thinking they're seeing them out there messing around with somebody else or they probably are saying you they see you out there messing around with somebody else you know whatever the situation is keep people out of your business because people want to see you fail because they don't have a good relationship misery loves company okay if it is it could be true it could not true be true i don't think it is but people are saying that i saw so and so you ain't saying shit. mind your own damn business that's what you need to tell them i feel like this is going to be a new relationship coming together for the both of you all and we gotta be, be present you will attract love by enjoying your life as it is wherever you are be all there be all there listen to this person hopefully they will listen to you talk to each other not at each other let that person finish a sentence and then you proceed or vice versa stop jumping in to this nasty conflict with one another wanting to always be right sometimes you're not always always right sometimes they're not always right okay stop putting your foot in their and your mouth and hopefully they'll stop putting their foot in their mouth y'all work it out you're in it to win it not to lose it okay energy read for the collective for the week of uh april the 8th 2020, 2024 we have nothing has gone wrong trust the process this connection is divinely timed y'all both need some space you both need some space you both need to gain your sense of clarity back as far as what you want and don't want or need in this relationship this connection you love each other okay that's obvious it's very codependent at the moment but work on it and it, it will be less then it's like you know you're focusing so much on the negative yeah you've been through hurt situations and so have they why are you keep on stirring this energy and this negativity when you can have such a much much more beautiful connection a bright future here stop worrying everything is going to be fine Everything is going to be fine. You all are, are dim, dimming the potential of what this relationship could truly be. I have a leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. They're going to come back. You know, they're just letting you stew in your own juices, or you are the one that's letting them stew in their own juices, worrying your head off, but they love you. you they'll be back, or you'll be back. But you got to be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. You may be dealing with a Leo, okay, or a fire sign. I mean, Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. Who are those sexy Sagittarians? Oh my gosh, they are so intense. All right, very, very intense energy. If only there were a time machine to bring us back to happy memories, okay. They want it the way it used to be. They want to be with you. They love you very, very much. And I feel like you love them. If you didn't, you would not be here. It's hard to show, but I do care about you so much. But you just pissed me off. Or vice versa. You just pissed me off.
I'm choosing myself right now. I don't mean no harm connection. I don't mean no harm with its collective reading with you. So it's like they're talking, them talking to you individual. I don't mean no harm with you. I don't mean no harm to you, but I'm choosing myself right now. I need to step back into the shadows and, and clear myself. I need to be better. I need to feel better for me. I need to feel like I'm contributing the right way to the right, to the, the beauty of this connection. And I don't want you calling me. I don't want you contacting me. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to contact you to you. You don't know where I am and you don't need to know where I am. We're separate. They're separating themselves for healing and you need to do the same. They're very sad. They miss you and they're thinking about you, but they're yearning for a future with you. But right now they're unsure. They're unsure, but they're definitely working on them. I feel like they left you because they had no other choice. Maybe you left them because you had no other choice, whatever it is. You need to get some, you need to rest and so do that. Okay. I feel like this is some twin flame energy is very strong and they at some point may have made you feel like you were not good enough by what you said. Maybe you said something to hurt their feelings. Maybe they said something to hurt your feelings. Okay. Whatever the situation was, but they're frustrated in this relationship. Both of you are, and you need some time apart to be sure this is what you want. I see one, I did just see one, 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 but frustrated in a relationship, lacking self-confidence, self-sabotaging fear so you may fear them uh fear losing them or they may fear losing you or fear any of the relationship because there is a separation but you're very passionate about one another you have this chemistry there's a bright a bright future here remember that okay you are the balance to them the yin to their yang okay the salt to their watermelon however you want to look at it all right a very very beautiful connection okay and you complement each other so well but this is just a difficult period for the two of you but I really do think that whoever he or she may be, they're coming back. They don't want you to know where they are on purpose because they don't want you trying to pull them back in. Work on you for the time being, and they will work on them. And they'll come back. We have unrequited feelings. There's not enough love to keep this attraction, this relationship going in a healthy way right now. Okay? Right now. Because if, you, if, if this person was to come back into your life right now, it wouldn't work. Y'all need some time to heal. Y'all need some time to separation for separate and get back together when things look better on their end. They're possibly going through some things. Um, I feel like you may have took them for granted a little, little bit, and maybe they've taken you for granted a little bit. Understand that they're still a human being. They're just not your lover. They have problems that are beyond their control, and so do you. But y'all got to learn how to be, be, be more patient. Maybe that's an issue, BB, or a nickname. Some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest. Y'all need to fix y'all problems. But the problems start individually with both of you all. Make the effort. The love is worth, this love is worth taking risks. You are called to, to move forward. Move forward, but be patient. You have a bright future with this individual. Work on you while they're working on them. And watch, everything else is going to be okay. But this is the time y'all need to re reflect. Change your thoughts, okay? You have heart with key. Welcome, love. Meeting the, the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. It's going to be the beautiful. I won't call it perfect, but it's going to be a damn near perfect connection. Reconnect when they come back. But right now, this person needs to heal. And so do you. I don't know what you said to them or I don't know what they said to you. But whatever it was, they made you feel like you weren't enough for one another. But they are, you know, very much uh, so attracted to you. And, and the feeling is mutual. So give this person the benefit of the doubt. Let them heal what's broken inside of them at the moment. So when they come back, this new chapter can open up and you can feel the energy. You can feel how good it is to be loved by a person like them and vice versa. It's going to feel like a new love, but you need to work on each other. You need to work on him. He needs to work on her. Take out resonance to come back together and work on your relationship. Someone from your past is or will be returning to your life. This new chapter will begin, whether it is with a partner or in a new in a current relationship and i feel like this is just you all working things out taking a step corner taking, taking a step back in your separate corners and freeing yourself for the time being because you need to you need to redirect your thoughts and hopefully and it will things will get better i don't feel like they're deceiving you though i don't feel like they've lied to you about anything that they've deceived you about anything and vice versa uh you just in your egos you, what you think is right and what they think is right what they think is right okay be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. Let it go. Okay. Let's get the final card. 
collective reading for the week of April 8, 2024. Law of Attraction. You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. You've known this person before. It's a soulmate from a past lifetime. You're meant to be together. You're going to find each other continually in the next lives. Okay. And I hear your lives with your lives with this person matter. Okay. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues with which weren't there at first. Stop worrying about this man. Stop worrying about this woman. They'll be back. They love you too much to not come back. By Mother Deck. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. Nothing has gone wrong. Y'all just need some time to separate a little while to get to know how it feels not to have each other in, in your lives. And then when, when he or she is tired of, of missing you and being without, without you, they'll come back. They're coming back. Don't worry about it. 